Welcome to the PHNX Suns podcast player preview as we look at Chandler Hutchinson and what he brings to the table this year for the Suns. Uh, the fourth year wing, average a little, he's 25 years old. Mm-hmm. He, this is uh, uh, three teams in three seasons, 22nd overall pick, 97 career games with an average of 5.7 points per game. What are you expecting from Chandler this season? I mean, not a whole lot. Like, we know he's on a two way contract. We know the Suns have quite a few wings on their roster already. Um, he's kind of going into it with the approach of, you know, I've been around the league for a couple of years. I've been on multiple teams in that time, and, and this is a, a chance for him to have to learn a new system and hopefully try and get some minutes with, you know, Tory Craig gone. You're kind of hoping that he can slide into some role on the wing, fill some of that athleticism, but he's got an uphill battle overall to make this roster in general. Yeah, for sure. You know, Tory Craig, Craig's a, an interesting name that you bring up because as I look at this roster, I don't really see a clear cut energy guy Mm -hmm. that could provide some of those, um, you know, those intangible things that Tori provided to the Suns in an unexpected, you know, happenstance of, of, of situations last year. So um, I'm expecting Chandler to, you know, again, battle for, for a playoff or playoff spot, a roster (laughs) spot, I should say it's going to be an uphill battle because there's a lot of guys on that team that are going to fill up the roster. You know, you you look at guys from last year that are no longer with this team. Can he fill one of those roles? I don't know. Yeah, and and if you look at his career numbers, like he's only played ninety seven games in his career. Um, he's averaged five point seven points, three point eight assists, and he's only shot I think thirty percent from three. So it's not like he spreads the floor for you. He really just brings athleticism and size to the table. Um, and that was something that Monty Ty has talked about in. Uh, at media day and in training camp when asked about him is he is very athletic, um, but the shooting, he needs to make progress in that regard. And I don't know if just being purely athletic is going to be enough for him to carve out minutes on this team. For sure. An an anonymous scout said that his strengths are physical wing play. He's a good look locker room guy, hard worker, which is something that goes towards uh, the type of uh, mentality and DNA that Monty Williams likes on this team, but his weaknesses needs to improve ball handling and shooting. And if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about Chandler Hutchinson, I don't know what will. We're going to give you one more opportunity to find out a little bit more about Hutchinson because, uh, you know, uh, Gerald, this is film study. So, mm-hmm. name a movie that best describes his role on the team. <laughs> I didn't want to go with the bench warmers and be mean, but I'm going to go cloudy with a chance of meatballs. It's <laughs> my pick. Ouch, because ouch. Because I just, I, I mean, like he's, he, I, he was super nice at media day. He seemed very knowledgeable of the team. He's a very smart guy. Like he knows, I think he knows his skill set. And sometimes those smart guys can kind of get in their own way. Because when you're irrationally confident and you believe you're the shit all the time, like, you're more likely to go far in this league. He seems like one of those guys who is very cognizant of his strengths and weaknesses. Um, and, and I just don't know if he has enough to find a role on this team because this is, you know, a finals caliber team. I made this mistake with Tory Craig last year where I completely disregarded the trade. And then Tory Craig actually was a big time factor in the Suns' run to the finals. Um, this year, I'm going to go back to that train because I just don't feel like he's going to contribute much to this team. I'm going to say the invisible man. Oh, man. Because, <laughs> I mean, you probably, you won't even know that he's out there. Yeah. I mean, that's it's harsh but fair. Like, he's, he's fighting an uphill battle to make this roster for sure. I, I think he has a lot of qualities that James Jones looks for in, in building a roster as far as he's one of the more experienced guys you could ask for on a two-way contract. A former first-round pick who was drafted, I think, 22nd. Like, he's... Mm-hmm. He's the type of guy you want to kind of invest one of these spots in. It's surprising they got him on a two-way slot, but I don't, I don't know if he's going to make an impact at all on, on a finals contender again. Yeah, yeah we'll see. A uh, lot to be proven for Chandler Hutchinson. He's scrapping to try and stay in the league at this <laughs> point for sure. Uh, we'll have more player previews as we move forward. Uh, I mean, we got a 15-man roster right now that we got <laughs> we got to talk about, so stay tuned for more from PHNX Suns Podcast. <laughs>